I'm going to show you one of the best defenses for compression in Madden 24. It comes to us have the nickel 3-3 Cub, and this is known as a double Mabel defense. Now, this is going to be a little bit of an adaptable double Mabel defense that you can use kind of situationally. And the cool part about this defense is it actually has some matching principles that are really helpful for stopping a lot of the best routes in the game. If you guys want to get my entire nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description to go join the Patreon. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates, any new stuff by being a member. So great $10, in my opinion, is going to make you a better Madden player. And you can sign up, you get everything for just $10. bucks. we got over 15 ebooks in the Patreon and more coming later today. All right, zone drops. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to put our flats at 30 or 25. That is up to you. We're going to put our curl flats on five and then hook curls. I'm going to leave these on default. You could also put those on five if you wanted to. I like to leave them on default because we're going to put our zone coverage to match. And there are going to be some little bitty matching uh, opportunities for these, these, um, these yellow zones. Okay. Audible that we want to have is cover four show two out of nickel three three cub. It is uh, a very versatile coverage. And while we're not running match coverage per se, there are some matching principles when you call a cover four show two out of three three cub. All right. So all we're going to do very simple. We are going to press our coverage. We're going to audible down to cover four show two. Of course, we're going to press our coverage. Then really important back off your outside cornerbacks. The reason we're pressing is because we want to get that nickel corner down and we also want to get the safeties down so that those safeties can play quick crossing routes or seam streaks. From there, um, it's really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to put both outside players into cloud flats and then you are going to put that blitzing linebacker on the left side in a vertical hook. This is a really good defense against tight because if you think about tight, they're not going to typically have uh, four verticals that are they can only attack the seams with their vertical routes uh, the clouds are going to get deep enough for the corner route so you'll see right here even if I run a concept like like this for example you're going to notice that these quarters are going to do a really good job that cloud's going to drop back he's going to take away the corner route and then your outside quarters are also or your inside quarters are going to match the vertical routes uh, that are the, the most vertical routes on the field which in this example are streaks now, I want to show you another concept that I see a lot right now. Uh, let me get back into cover four show two. I don't know why I was out of it. But another concept that a lot of people like to do out of tight right now, this was kind of something popular. It's been popular for years, but it's basically this right here. It's out of the play flood. And with slot apprentice, now we have a corner route here, right? So we're going to go two streaks, two corners, and a Texas route over the middle of the field. What we should see is these cloud flat uh, players should guard these corner routes and then the inside quarters should guard the streaks uh, uh, and then your user can obviously take the running back. So you see right here, that cloud flat is able to match onto that, that corner route to the sideline. Obviously he caught it. That's a little bit of like Madden 24 uh, in how good like user catching, ad catching is if you can't click on. That's why you want to swat. Uh, but what you'll see right here is if we just watch the replay, notice the, the streaks here get matched well by the outside quarter defenders. You can see on both sides, we're able to match the streaks. This corner route is getting matched. As you see right here, he turns his hips to play him. And I just got to click on and swat the ball. And then this corner route over here is running himself right into coverage as well in the cloud flat. What this does to a formation like any kind of compression set is it constrains where it constrains where they can attack. Now, let's say you were going up against a spread set we're running the same basic defense. While this defense is still pretty good, um, I wouldn't recommend this specific setup. And here's why. Um, because the way spread works, any kind of two by two spread set, these, uh, these clouds are not gonna match once they get over the top. So you see there, we're able to throw that and we're able to kind of freeform that to the sideline and get ourselves a big play. So let's say for whatever reason, your opponent audibles to spread or goes to something like that where they can hit hit you with four streaks up the seams. All you have to do, because these guys are going to be in clouds, um, all you have to do is you're going to you're going to basically, and again, this we would be in this covered shell right here. All we're going to do to this right here is we are going to outside quarter the right side player or the wide side player, and then we are going to deep half the uh, short side player. So you see here, 
This is going to turn this into almost like a cover six. And then what you'll see is if they try to go to this four vertical style approach, you're going to be able to basically defend everything. You just have to kind of get back and lurk if there's any kind of deep crosser. The other cool part about this defense is you are able to blitz out of this as well. So um, I'm going to give a little bit of a blitz look here. And essentially what we're going to do is we're still going to play those clouds. But now all we have to do from a user perspective on this is I just have to user the right side quick hitters. Um, and we're going to be able to blitz out of this. And you see how this coverage defense can really take away a lot of what people like to do in this game. Okay. So this cover four match style where you're you're calling a match coverage, but you're setting your zone drops, one of the best ways, uh, in my opinion, to take away a lot of stuff. Now, one last little tip with this coverage shell. Let's say they do something like this. Um, this is actually like a really popular motion out here. So I'm going to motion out the running back on a streak. If they do that, they are no longer in compression and you need to treat them as such. So we are just going to outside quarter um, that that outside defender over there. And then we're basically still in the same thing. And now from a user perspective, I just need to watch and see if there's a corner route to that uh, that number two receiver in the tight. If there's a corner route over there, I'm going to have to go play that or at least help on that a little bit. But you see, by and large, the, the coverage can hold up. So learning how to adapt this coverage is really good. But again, the basic principle is called cover four match or cover four quarters or cover four show two out of three, three cub, which is all the same. And basically what you're going to get is you're going to have those 30 yard cloud flats that are going to funnel everything back into the middle of the defense where your inside quarters will go absolutely crazy for you uh, with the way that match coverage works when you set zone drops. This is one of my favorite uh, coverage defenses in the entire game because I love how these inside quarters will play stuff. They'll play all kinds of stuff like this post route, for example. Um, you'll see that inside quarter matches and he's able to take that away. So love this coverage defense. If you want to learn more about playing defense, playing better defense in Madden, join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my full Madden offensive and defensive eBooks, all of our updates to those eBooks, any new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. It's only $10 and I guarantee it's everything I know. We've got over 15 offensive and defensive eBooks in the Patreon already and uh, I guarantee it's going to make you better. So sign up by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below.